with three backs with him in the backfield. Handoff, Kennedy, nothing doing with Jesse Lemonier leading the way for the Liberty Flames. And it is a three and out on the opening possession. So here's Buckshot on third and eight. Loading up, tipped and it is incomplete over the middle. And so Liberty goes three and out. Huntley, the intended receiver for. Works. Stepping up in the pocket, rolling, and he'll take a sack. And the Liberty defense holds again. Trey Sean Clark, the true freshman from right down the road in Cape Coral, Florida. Trying to change that on third and eight. And here's Calvert stepping up, fling incomplete, and that's complete to Stubbs. Calvert could have hit him there for a huge game. All start. Got rolling a little too early prior to second down. Offsides with contact, number 96, defense. Five yard penalty, first down. Letting that play clock bleed down considerably. Calvert wide open over the middle. Hundley breaks free, and it is touchdown. Liberty, the Flames strike first. King and LaRoche with Wirtz in the backfield. Wirtz, here's a toss on the reverse, and it's Kennedy, and it's wide open on the edge for a first down. Kennedy down the sideline, walking the tightrope into Liberty territory, and the Eagles break their first big one on the ground. Wirtz complete, first completion. Murray has it, Murray takes it inside the 20. Ridden out of bounds, first down, first completion of the game for Georgia Southern. Wirtz to the left side. Kennedy, the pitch man, takes it, has the first down, stretches, and he is in for the touchdown. Passing situations. Calvert was perfect on the touchdown drive. Now on third and eight. Over the middle, deep shot, incomplete contact. Here's the flag, and it looks like it's on Brenson. For the Flames. Pass interference. Defense, number four. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. On second down, shot on the RPO, and it is caught inside the 25-yard line. What a grab by Noah Frith. Look at this to make sure that he comes down with this football. Frith is pretty good there. And now everybody gets the ball off, so yeah. it's a moot point. Now it's in the books, and it'll slip on the edge. There's Douglas inside the 10-yard line. First and goal, Liberty. I'd take that shot. First and goal, handoff, Mack, cut back, touchdown, Flames, Liberty back on top. But it mattered most, the Flames go to the run game and it pays off. Probert PAT is no good. The problem is I have a 340 credit score. <laughs> <laughs> Coward complete, another big completion at the 45-yard line. It's on first down, handoff, hole opens up in the ground game now after the big plays in the past. Frankie Hickson, the fifth year senior from Lynchburg. Here Calvert. Buckshot pump, dumps it off, and it is incomplete. Incomplete pass, trying to check it down to Hickson. But the Georgia Southern defensive line, Quinn Williams, has made five straight field goal attempts, but missed a PAT. And this one is no good. So Probert with a missed PAT, and now a missed field goal. Is the lone setback. Wirtz takes the snap, wants to throw, steps up in the pocket. Now he rolls out to his right, fires complete, but short of the first down. Up off the field before that can happen. So Liberty snaps third down, just north of two minutes left in the half, and Calvert on the roll. Calvert will dance out of bounds exactly two minutes. Georgia Southern has all three timeouts first half because they have been a clean football team all year. Wirtz stepping up. Wirtz is going to take a deep shot downfield. Intercepted! The most unlikely interception 
It's the first thrown by Wirtz since December 2nd, 2017. This is the first interception he's thrown all season, and this is just a great job after the push-off that he gets away with by Scruggs going up and getting that football. Over minute 36, still two timeouts. Calvert pumps. He's looking long, and they got it again. Tight end Huntley has it. Chad Lunsford would be upset with that one. In the books now. Calvert on the roll. Third down, end zone. It is tipped and incomplete at the goal line. Duncan gets his hands on it. And now Probert. It is good. Let's snuff out and stay ahead of that option. 12 mini one back, two tight ends. Hicks and breaks it. So there's Hugh Freeze desire for the second half. Hickson in the backfield. Calvert will hand. Hickson has the first down and it breaks open. Hickson shaking his way inside the 30 yard line. Finally ridden down by Bildor at the 19. He's somebody to keep our eye on. Calvert hit as he throws. End zone. Touchdown. Gandy Golden holds in the touchdown. What is it that differentiates this bowl game? Well, just that, you know, Rob, we, you, know, you see Georgia Southern that's got such great tradition in football, and they have pink in the helmet. I mean, they were all in on everything that's going on. This year by Buckshot Calvert. And it starts because of pressure again in Calvert's face. We talked about decision making when he's under pressure. Field with words. Can the Eagles take advantage of the takeaway? Works. Play fake. Nowhere to go downfield. Room to run. Works trying to find the corner. Turns the edge. Dancing. Did he get past the sticks? He did. And inside the 20. First down. Red zone. Shy Works just barely turns the corner. Works out of the gun. Pressure off the edge. Works. Quick release. Fires complete. And he is short of the sticks. Fourth down. Mashad makes the grab. Mentioned before, he's had two blocked. The 28-yarder sneaks in. Three on the board. Just the second scoring drive for Georgia Southern. Here with both those tight ends on the field. Out of the 12 personnel on second and nine. Play fake. Calvert to the air. Caught on the edge and room to run for Shaw. Down the sideline. Wrestled out near the Georgia Southern 30-yard line by Duncan. Three. Calvert now over 12,000 passing yards. And on the flea flicker, he wants more. Buckshot to the air. And it picked off again. Fildor has the INT. Can the Eagles take advantage, though? Play action. Wirtz hit as he throws deep shot downfield across the 50, and it is caught. Wow. Mashad wins the fight for the football. By Delaney, but good hand fighting and checking, and look at the concentration. The red zone. Kennedy in the backfield with Wirtz. On third and eight, Wirtz to throw. Wirtz is going to tuck it. He's going to scramble, and he is drilled. Lemonier and Ajayi combine on the stop to force fourth down. This from 30. The kick is good. From the 50, handoff again. Third straight run for Joshua Mack. He stood up and driven back. Raymond Johnson, the third, forces fourth down. So now forced to throw on third and 15. Wirtz rolling desperation downfield into the Liberty bench and the Flames come up with another stop. And don't jump off sides and give him a freebie. Dixon on fourth and three is dropped in the backfield. Ellis gets the stop. Georgia Southern gets the football. 6.35 to go in the fourth. The verse to contact. On second down, option near side, fakes the toss, shakes his way for a first down. Drink of water, but this is a wildcat formation there. He's not even a quarterback. It's Kennedy who takes a snap. Kennedy directs snap. Kennedy takes it inside the 35, dropped at the 34, first down. So a situation like this, but this is a big third down. On the ninth play of the drive, Wirtz stepping up. He's past the line of scrimmage. He's scrambling and out of bounds at the 20-yard line. With four wide, Wirtz out of the shotgun, steps up away from the pressure, dumps it down. Kennedy makes the grab, wrestled down a minute 48. Here perfectly for this situation. 
Bass's 35-yard attempt is good. Three more on the board for Georgia Southern. For the boys in blue. Hands team for the Flames led by Antonio Gandy-Golden. So Tyler Bass, here is your onside kick. Dribbler, it's touched. Didn't, let's see, it's recovered by Georgia Southern, but it looks like it didn't go 10 Never yards. 10 yards, and they touched it prior to. The kick was illegally touched by a member of the kicking team before it went 10 yards. It'll belong to the receiving team at the spot of recovery. First down. Remember the running back, Dixon. So they'll snap it with six. Calvin on the roll. He's going to take a shot. Gandy Gold in the end zone. It is incomplete. Is there one second or zeros? Right now, zeros on the clock. And the Liberty Flames celebrate the first bowl win in program history.